I wanted to put this series behind me. I wanted to finally let this series die after making two whole videos on it, but I can't. I physically can't ignore this series until I make a final video to complete the trilogy. I stay awake in the middle of the night just thinking about Barnyard and how the trilogy of videos is incomplete. I stood tall for the movie. I stood valiant against the movie when talking about it, but I caved when it came to the show. I caved and gave up, but I can't do that no longer. I must be like Ben. Ben stood his ground until he was in the ground six feet under, and for Ben, for Ben alone, I must end Barnyard. I must finally defeat this intellectual property that haunts me. This has overtaken the High School Musical 2 meme on my channel, and I will not allow that any longer, because by golly, High School Musical 2 will be the only thing I am known for, for single-handedly giving awareness to not just Barnyard. So today, we'll be tackling the game, the epic Barnyard video game, the final piece to the stained muddy animal series. You see, the game is actually what I loved about the series. The game was the only thing I cared about. The movie, yeah, it's, it's all right, it's tight. The cartoon, it's scary and cursed, but the game. Ooh, now, now this is a game you get once every thousand years. This is a game of legend, of solace. This is the most definitive RPG to ever rule the lands. Now, I've never actually made a video on a video game, but God knows I am an epic gamer. I mean, just look how pristine and clean my case is for Shrek the Third on Xbox 360. I'm an avid epic gamer, and I genuinely think, genuinely believe, genuinely know that Barnyard the Game absolutely kills. It's a better RPG than Witcher 3, Skyrim, any Zelda ever made. I mean, look at Zelda, it's, it's stupid. Zelda! Link! Oh boy, smooching time! Ah! It's just the top, it's just top tier video game. Can those games let you make your own cow and choose the breed of cow? No. Can those games let you sexually harass a mailman from behind? No. Do those games let you put epic sunglasses on and squirt your milk all over the place at random people? No. You see, this game has an epic milk squirting physics engine. By day, you're just a normal cow walking around the town playing pool with the bros. <laughs> But by day, you're also a normal cow walking around with sunglasses. And those sunglasses give you access to your true powers. Remember Ben, my love, my heart and soul? Ben? God, I love Ben so much. And he's in this game. My God send love. He may be dead in the movie and may never be mentioned in the show whatsoever. But he's memorialized and tributed to in this game. In this game gorgeous game and what is one of the first things that he says to you when you walk up to him when you start your game the first thing you do when you put in the disc and walk up to ben what does he say he says you need to get good at squirting <laughs> you need to get you need to get good at squirting oh boy that's a that's a hot sweaty emoji right there that's like so many hot sweaty emojis so one of the first things you do in this game is precision squirt floating cans. You need to become a master squirter to just squirt all these floating cans in the air. You're also challenged by Otis to walk around the farm squirting the individuals with your milk. You see this fat pig just, you know, casually just hanging out, eating this apple that's, you know, the size of his head? Well now he's juiced up and covered in my juices. You see this mouse just being tiny and enjoying life? Well now he's drowning in my milk. You see you, yourself, in the camera? I'm looking right at you? Well now you're covered in my milk. Okay, let me, let me let me stop right there. Besides being an epic squirter, you also have this beautiful day and night cycle that happens in real time. Certain missions that you only can access during a night or day, it's a really cool mechanic. This is something that was completely ripped off by Persona 5. One of the best games to come out of last year completely ripped it off. You hear me, you copycat cunt? Stealing mechanics from the great barnyard? I'm on to you. you, you can't get away this time. At night is when you enter the barn, the mystical place for animals. Barns are great. Barns are where all the animals hang out and party their asses off. At the start of the game, it's all run down and crappy, but your mission is to deck this shit out to all hell. True MTV crib style of gameplay for your main 
hub. See, I could just be a totally non-hack and play the game and earn money to upgrade my crib naturally over time. You know, I actually play the game and actually do that, but literally screw that. I'm entering the code of the gods and I'm getting my big bucks because we eating good always in the barnyard or they're eating us because we're animals and we gotta watch out for ourselves. I don't even need money to be happy in the game though. Check it out. I can just pick up this cute ass daisy and just frolic around with it. Look, I'm, I'm so cute. I'm so cute. Did I mention that my cow looks like a 2012 Warped Tour attendee? I'm holding a daisy with my emo cow hair about to blast King for a day for my CDs in my crib. So when you get that hard guap, it's, it's, you know, it's called guap because the G up there stands for real G's got the guap. You head on up to this hill of this black market where the gophers hang out. And you see this little beady short dude? It's where you buy all the goods. You get that draft milk, that goat milk, that stupid molasses. Oh, I need my fix, man. I need my fix of milk or else my stummy cries. Just look how in-depth this barnyard game is at buying furniture for your crib. I actually spend more time on picking out furniture for my virtual home than I do my own room. Also, what is that? What the f*** is that? What the actual f*** is that? Oh my god! What is this image? I I'm pausing on this image for a cool 10 seconds. What the actual hell did they put in this game? That is cursed. That is that is cursed right there. Also, let's ignore the fact that in the last 10 seconds, my cow looks completely different. I may have forgotten to save, and this game has a really tough Resident Evil type save system where if you leave without going to your crib and saving, you lost all of your progress, and it's really stupid. So now instead of emo warp tour kid, I looked like T Few or whoever, however you say his name, I don't really care that much. But one time going into the barn and leaving, I just straight up froze the game. So all I could hear is the chatter of a thousand souls on a ham radio while I stare at the outline of a cow corpse on a video game loading screen. It's really, really calming. I do love that when you fully upgrade your barn, you can walk around seeing these animals party their lives away in their very existential dread. Like this one pick up here who's just downing his milk, trying to contain himself. You can do it, man. I believe in you. Don't, don't ever, don't ever stop never stopping. But what else does this game have to offer besides your MTV crib? Creepy posters and squirting. Well, you can cook some jank ass food in a doorway out of the back of the barn. You can play some mini games like this dirty muddy one where you battle on top of a stool and try to knock each other off in a true epic battle royale. You can live out your dreams of reenacting one of the best scenes in cinematic histories where all the cows got drunk off their own milk and you can grab a glass of milk in real life and go to town and act drunk off milk and be a cow? It's crazy! I also found out there are cows on the side who just stay there lifeless and don't move and it's, it's very creepy. It's super creepy. You also have this one game called Rack a Rack 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 I'm not gonna figure out how to say that. And you try to kill this disgusting looking monster in his beady eyes. Please just die. Just, just f***ing die, man. And besides minigames, this game makes you live out THE very traumatic storyline and you get to see Ben die again. Again. And not even two coyotes this time. Just these disgusting looking hell demons that are even more terrifying to look at. I swear to god, Ben, can you just stay alive for once? Stop dying! Overall, this game is quite epic, dude. It's such a gorgeously animated open world, and it's my fave thing in the series because it's generally quite fun with all the mini games. It sure as hell kept me entertained as a kid for hours on end, but I just want Barnyard to end. After three videos, after creating the holy trinity of videos on this fucking series, I hope I can put it behind me. Put it behind me before I see any more horrors, because God knows if I continue my search, I will find things even more cursed to ruin my childhood just like this. <laughs> and this. <laughs> and this. And this. And this. This is all just the start to the horrors that encompass this series. Ben, I can't believe you died again in the game. But I hope it finally gives you rest and lets your soul into barnyard heaven knowing that I finally finished the final piece of the puzzle. Rest up, Ben. Rest up. I love you. I love you, Ben. I love you!